Well, hello everyone. I know it's been a while since the last video. I've been busy moving and leading the retreat in Canada. So I would like to share a little bit with you about the Canada retreat because what happened was really rather um, profound and some parts were spectacular. <laughs> so I went to Canada on an invitation just feeling in every part of my being that this was the thing to do at this time. It was very particular with the timing and the location and so I said yes. And the day when the retreat was meant to start, uh, we were going to have an opening ceremony in the evening. That whole day I could feel light beings filling the retreat house. Hundreds of them just pouring in and filling up the entire house. And the council asked me if I would bring forth a message. And so I asked, well, who are you? What, what council is this? And they conveyed themselves as the council for heaven as earth. And I didn't quite understand the wording at first, um, but after talking with several people and doing the channeling, I began to be quite clear that this is a council that has been working for eons of time to restore Earth to her natural state as heaven. Ah, <sighs> so beautiful. I channeled the council as part of the opening ceremony that evening. And as I was channeling, I felt very tall very large and like my spine was so super straight. I've never had this experience before channeling. It was pretty amazing. And I felt like I was sitting on a really large chair. And at the end of the channeling, I leaned forward to turn off the, um, the video camera. And I saw that I was blue and I was like, why am I blue? And I, I looked outside and it had gotten dark in the, in the 47 minutes <laughs> of the channeling. And so I just figured, you know, funky lighting because it had gotten dark and we didn't have any professional lighting set up or anything. So I just figured that's what it was. Well, when I came home and Max started editing the video, he actually had to get me out of bed because he was like, Susie, have you seen the video footage? I was like, no. <laughs> He's like, get out of bed, come look at this. So I looked at the footage and there were lights, green lights and blue lights and pink blotchy lights showing up on my skin and red vertical lines in the video. And as you will see, the, there's nothing wrong with my video camera, it's totally fine. And it was, it was, kind of overwhelming like wow they wanted us to see them they wanted to be seen by us the members of the council so the retreat turned out to be that some of the council members who were embodied in human form came together to create several portals for the heaven energies to come through to make it easier for those heavenly energies to come through to planet Earth. So it was very profound, it was very special, it was very meaningful, um, it, was, it was amazing. And what's happening for me now is I'm going through a sort of revaluation process, really listening to my heart, what is it that I want now? Because there is a part of my soul mission that I have completed through leading that retreat and through being part of the council and doing what we did on the council. And so it's been a while since I've done uh, a Prime Creator channeling video because I've just been taking some time to rejuvenate myself, to take in these energies that are coming in here in September and to just kind of be quiet and to see what's next for me, what part of my soul mission now do I want to put my energies into. And so I haven't figured it all out yet, but <laughs> I will tell you that um, the membership website, the Creation Temple, is still in the works. We're still behind the scenes and I will let you know when that is ready and open 
for you to step into. In today's video, we're just going to um, keep it simple, hopefully short and sweet. <laughs> I thought that last time and it ended up being a, a long video. Um, but I just, I'm going to ask for an update to see if Prime Creator has anything to share about what's happening right now with the energies of September. And uh, if there's anything that Prime Creator wants us to know moving forward. So, much love. Yes, dear ones, the energies of September in your year 2016 are quite magnificent indeed. Some of you are not feeling these energies as intensely as you thought you might. Because you have quite calibrated yourselves to these energies and you are now much more efficient in integrating these energies as they come in. Some of you are experiencing intense and over overwhelming amounts of energies because there are new parts of you waking up to this experience of integrating these energies. If you are feeling things in your body, such as release of pain, dizziness, nausea, spinning sensations, floating sensations. For many of you, it is because you are receiving these energies and integrating them into your physical beings, into your emotional bodies, your spiritual bodies, your mental bodies. Whatever fears now that may come up for you, I invite you to release them. As we have spoken many times before, polarity increases until full saturation. When from your perception, polarity is no longer needed. Some of you are already there. Some of you are close to being there. Some of you are just beginning in this understanding. And so if you see around you the tragedy, the political confusion, the conspiracy theories. If you see those around you becoming sick and leaving the physical body through death, as you witness these things, dear ones, I invite you to not engage with your emotional energies. For the emotional energies are quite powerful. And if you choose to engage your emotional energies with these things, they further the pattern of these creations. Emotional reactions to politics, for example, only serve to feed the system. You have opinions, you have judgments about what should or should not happen. This occurs when you see from a limited perspective through your human understanding. For truly, when you can embrace the larger perspective, when you can see beyond your human understanding, and see through the eyes of love, and see through the eyes of your heart. You can understand what I have expressed before, that all is contained within the light. Each role played by each being is in service to the light, even though at times it may seem like the shadow or darkness. Yes, even the shadow is in service to the light. When you can fully understand these dynamics, there is no need for emotional reaction. There is simply bearing witness to what is occurring and maintaining your focus on your own creations of light or your co-creations of light. Dear ones, do you see? Do you see the power that you have. 
This one understands, and it is why she chose to go to Canada in the midst of many things unfolding in her own personal life. For the call was so strong to bring together the beings who are in charge of creating heaven on earth. This is the kind of focus I ask of each of you, dear ones. It does not matter if you have a job. It does not matter if you have children to attend to. It does not matter if you're single or have a significant other. Dear ones, the focus that is required of you at this time is something you are each capable of. I would not ask it otherwise. I often use words like invite and encourage. In these times, dear ones, I am asking. I am asking each of you, will you focus fully and completely on your light creations? Because this is what is causing the shift, dear ones. You think galactic disclosure will cause a shift. You think a reevaluation of global currencies will cause a shift. I say to you, dear ones, this is not what causes the shift. These things are byproducts of you as light beings in human bodies maintaining your focus on the light. To be in your power, to put into motion the shift that you all desire. Yes, we are speaking of heaven on earth. We are speaking of great changes within the matrix. I will convey again and again until it is understood by enough, by enough light beings who wish to lead these changes on planet Earth. You call yourselves awakened. You call yourselves enlightened. And yet you are still distracted by what is occurring on planet Earth. I do not convey these things with any judgment, dear ones. I simply speak powerfully to you to ask you to be at cause. You call yourselves change agents. Be the changes that you wish to see in your world. Yes, it takes courage. Yes, it takes commitment. Yes, it takes focus to see through the many layers of convolution in your matrix. If you are truly in your sovereignty, then you know you are untouchable. You know you are safe. You know you are powerful. What will it take for you to remember these things about yourself? Just because you have come into much density into human form does not take away from your sovereignty, your safety, your power. For as light beings in a less dense form, perhaps etheric form or no form at all, you know at your soul level that you are untouchable, that you are safe. When you come into human form, you have forgotten. The reason you have experienced struggle is because you have identified with the programs and patterns of the matrix. Again, this is why it is so important to release all programs, patterns, imprints, and implants that do not serve your highest alignments. 
continue to release these dear ones. Many of you that are very advanced still have programs and patterns running. Call this into your conscious awareness so that you can release with intention and knowing and confidence that you are indeed releasing and transmuting what no longer serves you. As you do these things about which we have spoken so far today, then you are much more clear and much more equipped to integrate these energies that are coming to you in this month of September, in your year 2016. For there is great potential for dramatic change within your matrix, should each of you choose to integrate vast amounts of this energy. It is possible in this timeline to see changes within the political system, especially in the U.S. For many countries are already beginning to be more visible in how things are shifting and changing. In this timeline, it is possible for your star brothers and sisters to become more visible to more and more of you. Should you choose to integrate more amounts of love and light, there will be a peak amount of energy in the alignment of your equinox. for several days before and several days after. You can expect a solid week of amplified energy coming to the planet. Now when I speak in this way, it does not mean that the energy wanes after this alignment. It means that your abilities to integrate the energies coming in are greatly enhanced at this time, which is why some of you may feel fatigue or even symptoms of illness. Because the light is flushing out any density that you are ready to release, let it go, dear ones where it no longer serves you to hold on to density within your beings. Release it fully and completely to the best of your abilities. Indeed, after the alignments of the equinox, we will not be complete. More energies of love and light will be coming in. But the goal is to strengthen the grid, the light grid that is within the matrix, to expand the channels within the grid, to form new connections within the grid, so that more light can flow with more ease into the matrix and within the matrix. To the extent to which we can penetrate the matrix with this light is the extent to which you will see change in your physical reality and experience as humans on planet Earth. And so I extend my deepest gratitude to each bridge worker, to each light worker who is readily receiving and integrating this light. Remembering, dear ones, that not every light worker knows that he or she is a light worker. Some are functioning in a very unconscious way. They are still critical to this experience 
of integrating light into the matrix. And so I thank each and every one who is playing this role. In past conversations, we have spoken of critical mass. Yes, dear ones, we have achieved critical mass. In the sense of the souls needed to receive this light and open up the, the matrix portals to allow the light to flow through the matrix. This has been achieved as we have spoken before. We now wish to achieve critical mass for conscious awakening, for conscious understanding of what is occurring on your planet. So that more and more beings will consciously awaken in an understanding of the role that they play as light workers, as beings who are receiving and integrating the light. As you begin to observe more and more disassembling of your matrix, as some things begin to crumble and fall apart, I ask you to release any fears around this. This is a necessary step before rebuilding. Now, as powerful creators, you can create ease and grace for all on this planet. And the way that you can do this is to release all fears. And to allow the love and light energies to empower you in your role as light workers and bridge workers. I invite you, dear ones, to take exceptional care of yourselves, to nourish your beings. For we are still in the marathon stage. It may feel to you like this is a sprint to the end of September. However, I would offer you this advisory. The journey is not over at the end of September. There will yet to be much more work. There will be much needed to be achieved. Even as critical mass is reached, even as systems fall apart, you are needed to rebuild, you are needed to create new. You do not need to wait until things fall apart. You can create the new in this now. I would also like to offer an update on timelines. We have spoken before about how important it is to bring together your timelines for creating heaven on earth. What was achieved in the retreat led by this channel was a shift that now enables you to create on your own timeline as you choose. For some of you, you will still wish to come together, to create together, and this is beautiful and will strengthen and cause amplifications in the energies. For some of you who have worked so long and so diligently in this realm and in many, many others, you have worked together with many beings to create a cohesive timeline for the shift. You are now free to create what you wish on your own timeline. It does require that you trust your abilities as a masterful creator. 
it does require that you fully claim and own your sovereignty and empowerment as a creator. It does require that you release yourself from the matrix. This does not mean that you cannot function within it. This means that you know no, that you no longer identify with it or bind yourself to it. Yes, is it, it is easy to see yourself as bound and limited by the matrix. But when you remember your power, you can see yourself beyond the matrix. Free yourself, dear ones. Be the powerful creators that you came to this planet to be. You are now free to create what you wish from your heart's desires. And if your desires are not in the alignment for the highest good, you may have more difficulty creating. You can still create, for you are still at choice and you can still exert your power. However, those that will have the easiest, most fluid and flowing creations are those that surrender to their highest alignments. Those that create from their true heart's desires rather than ego desires. And I will say, if your ego desires are in alignment for you, these creations will also be easy and flowing. And so while there is much still to be done, dear ones, I do invite you to be sure to take time for yourselves, to nourish, to strengthen, to rejuvenate, so that you can go on to the next step in this journey, what I have previously called a marathon. So while I invite you to receive and integrate as much love and light into your beings as possible, I also offer the advisory for you to pace yourselves. I thank you, dear ones, for all that you offer as light beings to the human experience on planet Earth. It is because of you that things are changing. It is because of you that things are shifting. Share this message with others. Show to others your true selves so that it may serve to awaken their true selves within them. Share the message of light. Share the message of love. Whether you use my words or your own energies and words, it does not matter. But share this message of love, dear ones. Do not hold back. Remember that you are safe. And remember your safety as you share for many, many, many more beings need to remember who they are as love and light. There is a great ripple effect and it starts with you, dear ones. I thank you for your service. Thank you, Prime Creator. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Much love.